Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how you can properly apply your sunscreen to your face and neck. Now wearing sunscreen during daytime when being exposed to the sun is important to protect the skin from premature aging and sun damage. Now in the evening, just before going to bed, there is no sunscreen needed. Now when applying your sunscreen during daytime, please make sure to apply 10 to 15 minutes before sun exposure so that the sunscreen has time to set itself. And then it is important to reapply your sunscreen throughout the day if you have been in the sun for several hours where the sunscreen may break down or if you have sweat a lot or maybe went for a swim where the sunscreen can wear off or move around then the reapplication is important to keep the protection going. And I want to share with you now a step-by-step -step application on my face so that you can see it visually when trying this out at home. Now before you're going to apply your sunscreen to your face, please make sure that you have a clean face. So my best advice would be getting started with the first step, which is washing your face with a suitable cleanser for your skin type and needs. This can be any cleanser as long as it works well for your skin type and needs and it should not irritate the skin nor drying out the skin. So this is really something that you have to keep in mind and your cleanser should be able to break down any excess oil, dirt and sweat from the skin. And once you're done with the cleansing step, then then you're going to move on to the application of your sunscreen. And so as an example, I'm using CeraVe's Hydrating Cleanser. If you have a different one at home, that's totally fine. Go ahead and use that one. Just make sure to read on the back of the packaging how you should properly use your cleanser. Basically follow the directions on how you should use it because the directions can change depending on the cleanser that you're using. Do you have to apply it on dry skin or wet skin and then you need to adjust it accordingly. And so in this case, I'm going to apply CeraVe's Hydrating Cleanser on a wet skin. And so if that should be the case, for your cleanser as well, then please make sure to use lukewarm water to warm water so that it feels comfortable on the skin and start wetting your hands, face and neck before applying the cleanser to the skin. So let's do this. Then go ahead, take your cleanser and use about one to two pumps or about a coin size amount of your cleanser in the palm of your hand about that much more or less. Then use it between your hands and gently massage it all over your face and neck for about 30 seconds to a minute. So, and once you have massaged your cleanser all over your face and neck, you now can go ahead and rinse it off again with lukewarm water to warm water. In case you should have troubles removing your cleanser properly from the skin by only using your hands, you can go ahead and use a fresh cloth in between, a soft one as well, so it feels comfortable on the skin, wet it, and this can help you to remove the cleanser a bit better. So and now go ahead and take a fresh towel and pat the skin dry. So now once you have washed your face with your cleanser, you have pat the skin dry, you can immediately move on to the application of your sunscreen. Now there are different sunscreens on the market. You can find moisturizers that already include SPF or you can find regular sunscreens and some of the regular sunscreens do even include some moisturizing benefits as well. So what's important to keep in mind is choosing the right sunscreen for your skin type so that it feels comfortable on the skin, that you can evenly apply it, won't come across any issues and that it does not irritate or sting on the skin because some sunscreens can create some irritation on the skin which is something that you want to avoid. Therefore look for one that's suitable and works the best for you. Sometimes they have different finishes as well, so make sure again that you're choosing the right one so that you're happy when applying it to the skin and that it won't feel uncomfortable on the skin. 
Now I have several examples right here of moisturizers with SPF as well as regular sunscreens. Which one you're going to choose is very individual. In this example, I'm going to stick with a moisturizer that already includes SPF, but one thing that won't change, and this is the amount of how much you're going to use. So it doesn't matter if you're using a moisturizer with SPF or your regular sunscreen, the amount won't change. You need to use a fair amount to be able to properly and evenly blend it all over to protect the skin. And so as a general guide, go ahead and use a teaspoon, especially when being new to it, and use this one as a measurement tool because this can really help you in the beginning when being new to it to understand how much you actually need to use to be able to then use enough when applying it without a teaspoon. And so the teaspoon guide is a guide that it's totally adjustable, but it should help you in the beginning to have a better understanding that you need to use quite a lot of sunscreen to protect the skin. And so it doesn't matter if you're using a moisturizer with SPF or regular sunscreen, use about half a teaspoon for your face and neck. If you want to include your deck detached it as well, then use about one teaspoon. This is a general guide, which is of course completely adjustable, which can change depending on the sunscreen that you're using. If you feel like you have used a bit too much sunscreen, you're being left with too much sunscreens on your hands, or you may like can even blend it further down, then by the next time, you can use a bit less of it so that you find like the right amount for the area that you want to cover. However, if you should come across by using not too like not enough of it, then you know, well, use a bit more so that you're being able to protect that certain area that you're currently missing to use on that specific area some sunscreen as well. So in this example, I'm going to keep my focus only on my face and neck, and I'm going to use about half a teaspoon. And as an example, I'm going to use CeraVe's Facial Moisturizing Lotion, which is a moisturizer that already includes SPF, but again, the amount will be about the same if you're just going to stick to a regular sunscreen as well. So about that much, more or less. And go ahead and take it off your teaspoon. And once you have used the teaspoon a couple of times to give you an idea of how much you're going to use, you then just can go ahead and basically just skip the teaspoon part and just dispense the product into the palm of your hand. But again, it should give you an idea of how much you actually need to use. Then use it between your hands and evenly apply it all over your face and neck. And again, you need to use a bit more if you want to include your decolletage as well. So, and once you have evenly applied your sunscreen all over your face and neck, maybe your decolletage as well, then you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. And this is how you can properly apply your sunscreen all over your face and neck to have an idea of how much you actually need to use to evenly cover the area to protect the skin during daytime. Now, I do want to quickly emphasize that now when removing it in your evening routine, just before going to bed, then using your daily gentle cleanser may not be strong enough depending on the sunscreen or moisturizer with SPF that you're using because you can get sunscreens that are easily removed with just like water basically or with just like a gentle cleanser. However, some, sometimes, especially if you're using water resistant sunscreens, those can be a bit more stubborn to remove. This is where the cleansing step to remove your sunscreen becomes important. So if you should have a sunscreen at home that removes fairly easy, you can go ahead and stick to your daily gentle cleanser that you usually use in the morning. This usually would work well to remove it in the evening as well. However, if you have a bit more of a stubborn sunscreen, then you may want to look into a balm cleanser or oil cleanser that is able to break down your sunscreen completely from the skin so that there's no residue left, so that you're making sure that everything comes properly off the skin before going to bed so that you will end up with a freshly washed and clean face. So this is something that you need to adjust depending on the sunscreen that you're using when removing it in the evening just before going to bed. 
And this is what I wanted to share with you. This is what I wanted to show you step by step on my face. I do hope that you find this video helpful, that you enjoyed it. And if you did so, please don't forget to give the thumbs up as well as share it. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skin caring. Bye.